I thought overall our back four actually really had a really good game. And this is one of those situations where we really got stretched and then they got a ball out wide where the guy had the option of dribbling into goal or playing a good one-time pass. In this situation, uh, again, I thought their player did a good job of recognizing the guy coming in and playing him an onside and uh, finishing. You want to recover to the ball side first and obviously make them get wide to, to create less of angles for shots. And the bigger issue in that situation was, you know, for the most of the game, we reacted we all defensively and recovered well and, and really kept our shape. And I just felt like that at that point, we didn't really cover very well from the initial, uh, you know, turnover. Uh, and I thought we lost our shape. And then I, I thought we, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, were slow to recover. And, and I think they, uh, you know, created a movement that put stress on us and I just felt like, uh, you know, we didn't react as well to the stress uh, of that movement. And uh, unfortunately, like I said, it was one of the few times I felt like in the game where we got stretched in a poor way. Uh, and again, I think it was a tough one for us because, uh, you know, I thought we were handling them defensively pretty well for most of the game. And if we continue to play that way, if we continue to, to have that kind of mental attitude about, uh, you know, defending, to, defending together and working hard about the closing certain spaces and then recovering really well to other spaces and making sure that we uh, are organized and compact, I think in the long run uh, it's going to pay off for us and we're going to start to, to see a few more clean sheets, which we really are, are really want right now and we've got to make sure we, we get as we try to, uh, you know, get back into this league. They're all, um, you know, veteran players in their own right, and have had, uh, you know, good careers. And I, I think they come in knowing that, uh, you know, this is a, a season that has ups and downs, and they've been through it. And I, I think they're really good, uh, influential leaders uh, about making sure that we stay focused on doing the little things well. That's going to get us results. And, you know, um, Omar hasn't quite got in yet, uh, but he's been there and he's been training now hard and getting fit, and, and we're excited to have him. And. You know, Mike saw some good minutes, and I, I thought he brought some nice energy to the game on uh, Saturday night, uh, and so did Floyd. So, again, I, I think the the challenges that are lie ahead of the adversity. You've got guys who've been through a lot before, um, and whether it's uh, on the field or off the field, I think they're going to you know help the other guys put in perspective that we were frustrated with the loss on Saturday night, and we're frustrated that uh, we couldn't uh, get the win, but we're also uh, you know, they're those kind of guys that are going to help us take the positives of that game and get better. And that's the most important thing we have to do now in this time of the season is to really make sure that we embrace some of the things we did well and really learn from the things we didn't so that we can, uh, you know, really now hopefully get some good results going forward.